It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Hey guys, welcome back to Sidewalks Entertainment. Richard R. Lee here. We're at Silicon Valley Comic Con, and today I'm going to get a chance to meet a uh, childhood idol, oh, in a way. You. Here you are, uh, Jerry Matters the Beaver. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Thank you. First off, thank you for doing this. So we really do appreciate oh, it's it. It's my pleasure. Do you go to a lot of conventions? Uh, this is a science, more of a science fiction convention. But, well, but do you Comic Con. So, yeah. and actually, there are Leave It to Beaver comic books, and I've actually yeah. signed some of them. But uh, it's always fun. You know, Leave It to Beaver is just everywhere. So, it plays in 52 languages all over the world. Wow. So, I have a lot of friends everywhere, and Comic Con's one of them. Yeah. I mean, are you a science fiction fan? And a lot of it, like it says, themed science fiction, but are you a science fiction fan yourself? I am. I mean, I'm, that's not my genre, that, that my only one, but I do like science fiction. It's always interesting. And then I'm at the point now where things that I read about as a child that they said, oh, they are coming, they did came, <laughs> and now they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is there like a, a particular show you like, maybe a TV show or a movie in the science fi? Oh, there's just so many. There's so many good science fiction movies, especially all the old movies that we, we used to see as kids. Uh, you know, they didn't have all the special effects, but they were still very, very good. Yeah. Now, um, you've been acting, you were acting when you were a little baby, a little kid. How old when you started? Two years old on live TV with uh, Ed Wynn. Did the Ed Wynn show. Uh, I've worked with Hitchcock. I was in Shirley MacLaine's first movie, which is The Trouble with Harry. One of John Forsythe's first movies, too. Uh, I did two movies with Bob Hope, so I did a lot of work before I did Leave it to Beaver. Did you know that what were you were doing at that young age, you know, this is like a job? No, it was always fun. You know, you'd go there, and the, the one thing about a child actor is you can't make them work. An adult actor, if they say they're not going to work, you can sue them or whatever. <laughs> child actor, you can't do anything, so people always treat you very, very well, and I always really liked working, so it was always fun. What was your very first? You said, what was the I first thing you did? on a live TV on the Ed Wynn Show oh, at two years show. old. So that was your first one? At two years old, yes. Wow. And what did you do? As, do you ever see it? Do you have any f footage of it? There is a, what they call a kinescope, which was people with a 16-millimeter camera filming it in Los Angeles so they could send it to New York to show the uh, commercials so that the people would find out that their commercial really did run. So, yes, there is some copies. It's on the Internet. Okay. I'm two years old, and it's a uh, pet milk and cans. used to be baby formula, too. So I walk out with six guns, a cowboy hat, and diapers and say I'm the toughest hombre in these parts, and you better have my brand. And then Ed Wynn would go into commercial for pet milk. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, so um, you're from Iowa. Yes. Did your family move out to Hollywood? I'm assuming you did this in Hollywood. Yeah, actually, I was only in Iowa for about four months, and my dad, under the GI Bill, went to uh, USC, so the family moved out here. So although I've been to Iowa many times, I've never really lived there. So people say, well, do you know this street? Do you remember the street you were living on? No, but uh, it was, it was a, it's a very nice city and a very nice state, but I've always lived in Los Angeles. Okay. So let's talk about this, you know, the most iconic road, the beaver, on Leave it to Beaver. Are you still amazed? I mean, it's on, like, MeTV. I watch it. Oh, I mean, I have my, um, my, my wife now. She uh, was watching it, and she's just, she never seen it before, no and she was enjoying it. Uh, I mean, well, the girls are a little harder to snag sometimes than the <laughs> men because people, boys, tend to watch this boy show. But uh, we find that our female audience is now almost as, uh, as strong as our male audience. Now, do you watch it? Do you ever sit there and watch yourself? Oh, every once in a while. I mean, I, you know, I know the whole show, and every once in a while I'll go back, and, it, you know, each one is a week of my life. Yeah. So I remember all the other things, and especially if there's a, a, another actor on it that wasn't on there every week, Edgar Buchanan and a lot of people like that. And I, oh, that was fun, and you know, I remember we did this or we did that that week. So it'd be like you being able to look at a week that you were in school, in elementary school, and say, oh, I remember that week. That was a hard spelling test. <laughs> All in living black and white. That's right. <laughs> so when you, did you know what you, I, that you were auditioning for it? How did you audition for it? Well, the, I've been an actor since I was two years old. Yeah. So before we Leave it to Beaver, I did all sorts of movies and a lot of TV. The interview for Leave it to Beaver had almost 8,000 boys on it. Wow. Now, that just wasn't for the part of the Beaver. It was Beaver, Wally, Lumpy, Eddie, all the characters. But 
it, for the, the Beaver, there was probably three to 3,500 kids, 3,000 to 3,500. But I'd been working, you know, I'd worked with Hitchcock. I did two movies with the Bob Hope. I'd done other series, not as a regular, but just walk-ons. I'd done a lot of TV, live TV. So um, as soon as they saw me, they interviewed all the rest of the people, but I had the job. Now you were, I think uh, Hugh Beaumont was your father on the show. You actually worked with him beforehand, right? I did. He was actually a Methodist minister. Oh. And he was um, working as an actor only to support a church that he had in downtown Los Angeles and basically Skid Row. And they couldn't afford a pastor, so he became an actor. The funny part was he was Michael Shane. Um, and Michael Shane was this really tough detective that when he wanted information, put people up against the wall and pounded him on it a couple times. So when he moved in to leave it to Beaver and became the father, it was much more suited to his personality <laughs> and especially to being a minister. Yeah. So uh, was the cast really tight? Well, you know, we all knew that I didn't think that Barbara was my mother and Hugh were my father. They had their kids and we, you know, we'd go in there and we'd work with them. So we were very, very good friends. It's probably like maybe your favorite teacher when you were in elementary or junior high or even high school. So they were very good friends, very good mentors, but I knew I had a family at home and that's where I went to. Do you have a favorite episode? I love the one with the soup. Aww. I don't know. I always thought it was so cute. Hey, Beaver. I think there's real soup in there. You crawled up That's the right. arm. That was so funny. Yeah, well, a lot of people like that one, and the interesting thing is it's the most expensive one they ever did because they had to build a billboard and yeah. put a soup bowl on it. So it was one of the most, it was the most expensive one they ever did. Which one's your favorite? You know, I have so many because I remember a lot of things that people don't ever even see. We had different crews, different things happened that day, so I'll say, oh yeah, that's the day this happened, or that, that was that favorite cameraman of mine, and you know, we just, I just had a really good time, so every day was fun. Of course, you did also uh, several, several years later, you did Still the Beaver, you did a TV movie, and then you did Still the Beaver on for Disney Channel, and right. I, I think syndication too. Syndication, 100 episodes, you'll like this, it was a billion dollar project, it was supposed to be running, they lost it, they lost all 100 episodes, yeah. so it only ran one time. When you lost it, they lost all the copies the of it? The studio lost it. There was a billion dollars oh, that they wow. had invested because each show was about a million dollars to do, and there are 100 shows, plus the movie of the week. Nobody can find them. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's what I say. <laughs> but you know, they just, they, it, it ran on Ted Turner, it ran one time, yeah, and remember. then we were ready for it to keep running, and suddenly they said, we can't find it. So either Ted Turner and, uh, or Universal, one of them lost it someplace, but nobody knows where. Oh wow, that's, that's a trivia pursuit question right there. Yeah. So uh, after the uh, Beaver, uh, what you went to? I think you went to the military. I oh, the see. original show. I shouldn't be yeah. on the original show. Actually, first I went to high school, then I went to uh, the military. Spent six years in the Air Force. Then I went to Berkeley. I'm a graduate of That's Berkeley, right. and then I went into real estate. I was a real estate broker, and then in the uh, '80s. Tony and I decided to do a new Leave It to Beaver, and that's when we did the 100 episodes of the new Leave It to Beaver. And so life has been very good for me. Now, do you have, uh, you know, people come up to you, I mean, there's a time in your life, especially actors, when they get stereotyped into a row. Do you have a problem, you know, go, hey, it's Beaver? No, that's, it, it's just a compliment. It means they appreciate your work yep. and they recognize you. Well, I appreciate your work. And we, it's, 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 what do you think of sitcoms and comedies nowadays? I mean, it doesn't compare to what you, it's so simple. But it's funny, simple, and it's enjoyable. I don't watch a lot of TV. I'm, I'm a news addict, so I watch news. But honestly, a lot of the, the sitcoms that are on today, I just don't find them that interesting that I would sit there and watch them every week. So, But that's just me. They must be a lot of pe there must be a lot of people that watch them. A couple more questions here. Sure. So after doing this, you're a star. What has been the best thing about getting the beaver and, and even having this career for you? Well, you know, all the people I get to meet, people that I would never meet if I was not just a regular person, but I mean, I've, I've worked with Bob Hope, I've worked with Hitchcock, names that people maybe just know. I've sat on Mr. Hitchcock's lap and run lines. So, I mean, I've had just a wonderful life and uh, I'm very happy. I have a beautiful wife and we just have a, a great relationship. So my life is really good. You know, there's a lot of people out there watching it. They don't get a chance to meet you. What would you like to say to your fans out there about supporting your career? 
Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I can do a Vulcan mind map on all the people you've met over the years, it's been amazing. Yeah, I've had a great life, as I say. It was something that, uh, you know, I just, my mom was walking through a department store when I was two years old, and a lady came up to her and said, I've been watching your little boy, and you tried on some of our clothes, and they fit him just right. Could it be a model? My dad at the time was a coach at a high school. He retired as a superintendent of LA schools later. And uh, so it was the kind of thing that they weren't studio people. My mom said, I think he could do it. And I went into live TV after that and then leave it to Beaver. So I've been a working actor since I was two years old. Amazing. Well, for all of us, thank you very much. I'm thanking everybody in the audience okay. there. Thank you very much for bringing joy to our life. And, thank you and for watching. still the Beaver. That's it. <laughs> Jerry Matters. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.